Hi, everybody. I'm Jeff Berlin. I'm from the Players School of Music here in Clearwater, Florida. I'm doing this video for the finest string company that it has been my honor to work with, and that's DR Strings. I met them some years ago. They offered me a set to try. I tried them out, and their strings exactly fit my criteria for a bass string, which is simple, excellent in tone, and not super, super bright for me. If I wanted that bright sound, then of course I would add the treble to my bass or to my amplifier. But the DRs seem to have this sound that sort of sits somewhere in the middle of the spectrum. They are not built, my strings, the DDTs, I should have said that earlier, the DDTs are not built in my ear, uh, for my ear to hear the sound that they produce with too much artificial highs in it. It has a little bit of that meat, that slight lower mid, that somehow seems to come out on the string. I'm crazy about them. Best bass string I ever used. Plus the fact that because I like to bend, they always stay in tune. I'm not sure what they did, but they did something incredible to create a string that stays in tune, even with a fairly, let's say, powerful uh, touching and, and pulling and, and using and playing the instrument on the strings. They're incredible. I love the sound of the DDTs. Uh, I love the concept that DR strings came up with. This video is also going to be a video uh, offering a little lesson. So I have two concepts for you today, and I think these might be helpful. For guys interested in learning how to get around your instrument a little more in tonality, that is not specifically by rhythm section bass, here's an exercise that you could try. If you take a C and make a triad, and then take an E, which is a major third up, and take that triad, and then go up a major third from E to A flat, you have three distinct tonalities, which ought to add opportunity to make varieties of flavors if you wish to solo. And 
And these are wonderful to make colors and find different sounds. This is a kind of a unique thing. We bass players often don't go there for experimenting around and trying to find interesting things. Here at the Player School, we're always teaching varieties of ways to learn the instrument better. This is what it is that I wanted to offer you, that playing as a self-taught musician certainly has its benefits, but if you're going to seek out information and pay for an education, you really should learn how your instrument works and find notes that you might not know at this particular time, but can know. Then, what gig can't you do? What jam session can't you do? What expressive, self-created bit of music can't you express? So for other people that also have an interest in learning and are, let's say, more into the rhythm section concept, I'll give you a, a little insight into what funk bass can be uh, as an academic thing to regard. Um, funk bass is best uh, uh, served, best provided as by a bass player if you repeat your lines. So if you make up a line... <laughs> See how I'm repeating? I just did that to be silly. You repeat these lines. When you repeat these lines, you have an ostinato bass figure, which sounds terrific in a rhythm section. There's a big emphasis on playing with feeling. Can I let you in on a little secret? Everybody looking at this video plays with feeling. Everybody. Feeling is the first thing that we get in touch with when we grab an instrument. We can't even play the thing. But we're playing with feeling, so don't worry about playing with feeling. If you want to learn how to play better, don't play with feeling. Learn the content that you probably need to learn. Improve as a bass player, because once you've learned these notes and once you've learned this music, you're going to play everything with feeling, because that's why you bought a bass guitar. So if you're a funk bass player and you want to play... played with feeling, I made a little mistake. Is a mistake a bad thing? No, it isn't. It just means I'm trying something new. So don't be afraid of mistakes either. How about that? Three lessons all at once. One of them because I messed up a little bit. So that's my little video clip for you guys. This is uh, a thank you to you all for watching this video. A thank you to DR Strings and the remarkable product that they make. I will support them forever. I will see you soon. Uh, hopefully at a gig. I would like to invite you to come down here to Clearwater, Florida and study with me at the Players School of Music and bring a package of DR strings. I'd be happy to sign it for you. Thank you very much, everybody. I'm Jeff Berlin. This is the Players School of Music, and these are DR strings. Thanks for watching. <laughs>